Okay, I'm up. Now before we get started today, I think I have something to take care of. Look at this guy. Check this out. Ah, ah, ah. So back in about uh, December, I had a little bike accident and uh, I broke my thumb in the process. And now this guy, I think he's about ready to, to come off. Uh, I've taped it and I've kept it covered uh, the last day because it kept snagging on things and that really hurt. But I think I need to take care of this before I head out. Oh, look at that guy, gnarly. It's hard to pick up things when you don't have a thumbnail. <laughs> Come on, I got ya. Okay, well that was properly disgusting and uh, not one of the highlights of my video content, but it needed to be done. A few weeks ago, about three weeks now, I completely stopped drinking coffee. I had to. I was drinking way too much and it wasn't even making me feel good. It actually started to make me feel really bad. Plus, I would have to pee like a lot. However, today I'm making an exception. My sister picked me up. This is the Luwak blend. It is known as the most expensive coffee in the world and there's a special reason for that. Now, why is it called the Luwak blend? I'm happy you asked. The civet cat in Indonesia only dines on the finest of coffee cherries. Why is that important, you ask? Well, the civet cat is also known as the Luwak, but their digestive system doesn't digest the coffee beans. So, you're left with coffee poo. It is harvested from the poo of the Luwak, or civet cat, but it gives it a very, shall I say, special flavor. Let's try it. It's a very fine powder, okay? and it only really needs to be put in the cup and it'll dissolve. <coughs> kind of like uh, instant coffee, but nothing instant about this. And the fermentation happened in the little belly of the Luwak. Look at this little guy, so cute. Mmm, fruity. Okay, but now it's time to get to the library. Gotta plan my day. This should do me. Oh, wait. Hey Google, what's the temperature? The temperature in San Francisco right now is 13 degrees. Yeah, I like to keep it in Celsius. Ooh, my oh me, that was some delicious coffee, I have to say. And you know what? I'm feeling a lot better. Got a little bit of coffee in my system. I'm ready to attack the day, which is a good thing because when I get to the library, I've got a lot of work to do because today, I just got a lot of work to do, that's all. Today is the Bay Area Film Mixer. I have volunteered to do some interviewing uh, for Director Dave for that. That should be fun. And uh, I want to prepare all of the questions. And also I've got some script writing to do, not least of which I also am going to dedicate some time to just do job work, job search, job related things. One block away, the best. That was some much needed work time. Feeling good about that. Now I need to take a break though because uh, I discovered I'm starving. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store and I'm gonna make some bomb ass egg casserole. It's a recipe that I got from my sister. So I gotta pick some things up and I'm totally gonna make that. Oh yeah. You guys, you guys, it's like, 
almost seven o'clock. Are you loving this daylight saving right now or what? And yes, it's daylight saving, not daylight savings. I just learned that, but it's really hard to say. So I'm probably just gonna continue to say daylight savings. But it's nice though, right? How long have you been coming to the Bay Area film mixer? Yeah. This is my first time. Very first time. Taking a lift. Dang, dang, it's like Friday night in here. Look at all these people. Just making it back from the film mixer. The film mixer was great. They had screenings this time, and a lot of the films were really, really good. I think five different uh, shorts were shown, or previews, or teasers, things like that. Some really cool stuff. I wish I could stay in network, but. Ah, we've got a really early call tomorrow. I have to be at Director Dave's at 5.45 a.m., which unfortunately means I really have no time to do any edits tonight. So, dang it, I'm not gonna be able to get out my, uh, my vlog for tomorrow. Boo-hoo, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a silly thing to, uh, to be sad about. It's something I really like doing and I wanna keep it going. Hey everybody, have a great night. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time tomorrow. Bye-bye.